Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Midwest Dungeon Delvers. Today, we of course are returning to our Fair Before the Foul stream. Last week was Halloween, but also my internet died, so we didn't have the show or a, a fill-in stream. But thank you all so much for tuning in to episode 7, and let's get in to that muddy encounter. The troll with strength of stone Cave and mud his ancient home Blending ages milk and honey Folk with brass the mud men's irony For the tales of night and day Grit and magic, steel and clay Got hidden swords, riddles be praised Our gods pass in a wild race It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Our good sir, dungeon master, game master, master of games, Corn's Demon. You want to hit us with a recap of where we're at? Uh, after which, you guys went to the surface to finish the cultural exchanges of uh, showing them how to do the uh, the acorn ritual. Mm -hmm. um, Arg, seeing a very large cow, um, proceeded to murder the cow, terrify a child, and then as you guys were heading back to go into the underground again, um, you guys were attacked by a group of humans. Hey, all I'm saying is the cow pulled a knife on me, okay? <laughs> you weren't there. You don't know. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, let's see. You guys were heading back to the, the entrance to go underground. Um, just a general idea of what you guys were doing whenever... Uh, as you guys were walking back to... I'm pretty sure that I had done, like, a notice, right? Or a perception or whatever. An awareness? Awareness, that's it. Okay. So give me an awareness check, and then, guide, Gaiden, what were you doing whenever um, the attack happened? Gaiden... Beep boop, beep boop. All right, Arg, what were you doing when the attack happened? Um, I, uh, I was trying to figure out what was going on. You remember I, I uh, caught a scent of something, so I was trying to figure out what it was and where it was coming from. Okay, give me a investigation check. That works. Let me see what I got for that. All right. So, I got a 22. Jumo. Hey. 
18. So, this and I believe. So I'm, I'm sure I was working on my headsets. Well, no, this was while no. you guys were on the surface. Oh, okay. This is, we're being attacked as we're going back underground. What are you doing? Like, what were you oh. doing before the attack happened? Arg had just killed the cow. You guys were running back. Oh, the cow. Yeah. <clears throat> the uh, cow kill. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so then, what would your character, what would Gaiden have been doing as you guys were heading back to the, um, the, the hole to go underground? Um, well, I, I left one of my headsets there at the side of the cow so they would have something to sell um and then i would have just walked back to the group and then just been astonished with my forehead between my fingers and just been like <laughs> uh all right well with that give me a uh, give me an insight okay Uh, it's a natural 20. Okay. Just one second. I'm writing down some, some details. So... Uh, what would be the modifier with your with your uh, insight? Uh, I've got a three in the skill. Okay. Then I've got one filled in. Oh, okay. So that is a twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. And let's see what they they were. Three in charisma, and then one bubble filled on the insight. They would have gotten a 12. All right. Okay, so um, <clears throat> as they unleash their arrows at you guys, um, Gaiden, you in a supernatural manner are able to see the arrows come and um, like inform everyone and dodge the arrows at the same time that they are under attack. Nice. And let's see. Several of the arrows um, don't seem to find the mark with uh, Guidance Warning as the arrows come flying through the, the trees and smack into uh, all around you guys. You know, the, into the bushes, into the trees, the and all that other jazz. Uh, 
Gaiden, you are first up. You see six humans. I see six humans. What time of day is it? Uh, probably late afternoon. Oh boy. It's not good for us. Um, Especially with that sunlight sensitivity. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> Well, can I tell how big they are? They look, I mean, massive. Not as big as Ark, but they're big. Boy. They seem to be wearing, um, like, clothes made out of leather. Clothes made out of leather? Are they carrying any weapons? Uh, uh, the bows that they just launched at you guys. Or the arrows that they launched at you guys from bows. That's all they can see, like, they're, like that's all, like, their pack is just some leather clothing. And... Well, yeah, they have leather clothes. They have, they have their bows, their arrows, and, like, you see some long knives. Which to you look like short, like look like swords. Hello, Fox. Hello. I think I'm just gonna hide behind a tree and wish I was invisible. <laughs> All right, uh, you you duck behind a tree and, and take cover, um, and and that's all you're gonna do on your turn. I need to figure out what's going on first. What we're we doing? Okay. Are you just like moving to cover and like wanting to to essentially pass until you get word from Biddlesby on what whether or not you guys are moving out or attacking? Yeah, I need to wait for command. Okay. Speaking of, Biddlesby, it is now your turn as uh, Gaiden rushes over to a tree to take cover and then um, is waiting, like looking at you expectantly for a command. I look at I look at Slagwalt and Drekken or Drekken? Which one was it? Um, Drekken. Drekken. Uh, or no, it would have been Karu and Slagwalt oh, were the two that you guys yeah. have. I, I look at uh, Karu and Slagwalt. Are they looking like they're excited for a fight or are they looking concerned as well? Uh, if you want me to make an insight, I will. Um, make an insight real fast while I see what their response is as well. Alright. Uh, essentially, I'm doing the, uh, 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 combat insight. Okay. With that, I rolled an 11 on the die, but it's plus 5, so 16 altogether. Okay. Um, they seem to be uh, willing to fight. They're willing to fight. Um, how about Arg? Does Arg look like uh, Arg, do you look, how do you look towards the humans? Arg looks at the humans like he looks at everything else. Food. Yes. Arg well, sees food. possibly. I mean, maybe. You never know. 
It could be food. Maybe. It could be research be. material. It's one of those it could two. Be, it could be food after it is research material. Who knows, you know? Now, I haven't come across that uh, scenario just yet. But... <laughs> all right. Um, so I see I see all of that, and I see Gaiden looking to me. Um, yeah, you, you see Gaiden, like, as he yells out and just... You see almost like an after image of Gaiden moving. That's how fast he moves. Um... And like the arrows kind of like fly at where he was standing um, as he's like running to the tree. It's just, you know, that after image effect as he's moving and the arrows are going through those after images. Gotcha. Um, I, I say to, uh, to the goblins loud enough so everyone can hear. If we are attacked, do not hesitate to defend yourselves. But don't kill them. Uh... Peru looks at you. Uh, what, what do you want us to do then? Run? They don't need their arms to live. You say that, and he flashes you the most wicked grin. I figured he'd like that. <laughs> All right. Um. After that, I'm going to uh, spend my stamina point and an action point to command uh, Slagwort to move their speed without provoking opportunity attacks. All right, you watch Slagwort, uh, like run towards a, a group of humans. The humans look absolutely terrified as Slagwort is rushing them. Yeah. That is um, my first action point. I'm sorry. It's been it's been a couple weeks, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> it has been like two or three weeks. It, it... Oh, and combat combat not be something we do very often. That's right. That's right. Okay, so I use my first action point and my stamina point um, to do that. Next, I need to do my thing that gets me the stamina point back, which is doing the help action. Uh, so I'm going to rush up. Uh, I'm going to use my movement. I'm going to close with Slagwort and like shield up with him, kind of make like a, a duo phalanx um and then I uh will bolster uh his first attack okay which gets me my stamina point back <laughs> alright I then uh, will use uh, Commander's Call again uh, <laughs> to uh, give Gaiden an attack right now with advantage. Alright, Gaiden, you have an attack. 
you can sling it. Um, I prepare my weapon and load the sling. All right. And I look over to the commander, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm." Pointing, we're really attacking him. I'm pointing. We're attacking them on first contact. They shot first. They're defending their animals. I said not to kill them. And I'm pointing. I look above the humans to see if there's anything above them that I can knock down on top of them. Um, it doesn't look to be so. Uh, they're, they're, like, aren't, they're in a, in some brush. And okay. so, like, the only thing that was really above them would be, like, a tree limb or something. Okay. But it's one of the thick ones, so, like... The sling probably wouldn't do enough damage to, like, break the branch. Yeah. Um... Uh, let me see if I can hit one in the bow. That's well, essentially he's... where I'm pointing, is like giving him advantage to disarm him. Yeah. Yeah, let me take a shot at a bow and see if I can get one. Okay. I will say that the bow has a slightly higher armor class just because, or not armor class, but slightly more difficult to hit because you're aiming for such a small target. Okay, 19 on the die. Plus your... <laughs> <clears throat> going out of lane and saying that 19 on the die is a 100% a hit. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's plus 4. This 23. Yeah. Uh, and what's the, the damage for the sling? One blunt. One blunt, so. Bludgeon, yeah. yeah. And it would have been one higher, or you would have gotten at least five higher than what you needed, so. Yeah, uh, you watch the bow just kind of snap. Heck right yeah. above where the guy's hand is, it just... The... The... Little piece of rock just smacks into it and just snaps it in half. Heck yeah. Um... I'm gonna... I'm gonna look over at Gaiden... Or not... <laughs> I'm gonna look over at, uh... Bittlesby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bittlesby with the, all the armor and shininess, and I'm going to give him a wink. And I'm going to load up another rock in this thing, spin her up, and release right at the other bow. All right. I mean, yeah, I gave him an attack with advantage. Well, you, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm allowing the, the fact that he basically used his movement to get to cover and oh, wait for your you, command. Oh, got I'll, you, yep. I'll, I'll let him finish up. Okay. Yeah. We can do one more hit. Looks like I'm going to miss anyways. Um, 12 to strike. Uh, yep, that one goes right next to the bow. Ah. Well, I got one. What do you guys got? Uh, I point out how uh, Gaiden did that and uh, and I say to Slagwort that's how we disarm them he looks slightly saddened by that <laughs> <laughs> okay commander if he makes it too difficult, then the other way. Alright. Is that the end of your that turn? That is all that I can do. 
All right. I've got one action Arc. point as a reaction, just in case. All right. Arg. So, uh, Biddlesby and Slagwart charged off to a group of three. And there's a group of three on the other side of the clearing. Um, about how far is the distance between the two groups? Um, between the group, the group on the left and the right uh, of where you guys are, there's probably like 120 feet worth of distance. About 120 feet. They were stalking you guys and would, and fired on you guys when they thought it was a good time. So I could make it to one of the groups in a turn. Yeah, Biddlesby. Yeah, Biddlesby and Slagwort are going left. The other three are on the right. So I'm going to charge forward and power leap and land right in front of the group. Using my movement. Okay. And then I am going to roar at them. Just as big and as loud as I can. They do not understand your language. So Mm -hmm. you just roar at them. I want you to make an intimidation check. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which, ironically, I do not have proficiency in. All right. That will be a... So let's see here. I roll the die and I add my stat, but I don't add two because I don't have proficiency in it, right? Right. So it'd be 16. Um, so the scent in the air changes. <laughs> um, various forms of refuse immediately fill the air. <laughs> um, one of them even begins to like faint from you just running and leaping through the bushes like a gorilla. <laughs> and I am going to charge the other group now. And I reckon it's probably going to take the remainder of my actions to get within range of them. Uh, let's see. 60 feet one way, one way. And then 100 very much points against the other side. And you use the leap. Right, so that'd be... Uh, let's see here now. Um... Each space of move speed is five feet, right? I believe so. So it took me two turns to get over there and two turns to get back to where I started. Right. So, yeah, yeah, I'm about halfway back. And that's where I'm going to end my turn. Oh, actually, hang on a second. Let me check something really quick here. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. Nope. Aha. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, yeah. Alright. I was wondering if there's like a step of the wind key power. Okay. Yep, you you leap over and um, make one group regret their decisions. Mm-hmm. And begin charging the other group. Mm-hmm. Uh, what a scene. So, we'll wipe out those three. It's their turn. Let's see. Um, it'll be rolling influence check with advantage because of uh, Arg. Arg and Guidance actions this round have um, potentially routed them as. One one of the remaining three no longer have a bow, and the other three are running. All right, <laughs> I didn't roll very good, even with advantage. Okay. Uh, I rolled a four and then a seven, but it was an influence, right? Yes. So uh, altogether twelve with the seven. 
Okay, roll again, don't add anything. Okay. 18. Um. <clears throat> remaining group begins to break and run after watching Arg run and charge and scream at the other group and their, at one of their bows breaking from the little tiny flying guy who just lobbed a tiny rock. <laughs> <laughs> they immediately assume that they bit off more than they could chew. And begin to run. Same. Yes. As soon as I see that they are routed, I turn to the I'm goblins. I'm like, let's go. It's time to move. In Into the tunnels. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you guys you guys, continue moving quickly. Ow. I want to remain at the, like, point where the tunnels begin. And I, I want to, like, try and camouflage it pretty well and make sure that no one is tracking where we came from. Alright. Make a... Make a trickery. Roll. No bonus, guys. Just another wow. roll. Here we go. I rolled a three. <laughs> It looks stealthy. It looks well camouflaged and hidden. I s smack my hands together. Job well done. And I turn in and I walk into the tunnel. <laughs> yep. Um, can Arg check and see if he thinks that it's well hidden? Uh, as, as you guys all run in, Biddlesby just takes a like a, a brief moment, throws like some some like yeah you know, brush and stuff over the entrance hole. You are already inside. You probably wouldn't have cared enough to go back and take a look. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So uh, you guys, I assume, are heading back to camp, back oh. to the crossroads. Oh. All right. Yeah, we got a debrief on that. Yes, we do. All right, you guys, head back. It it gets late. Like you know, it's it's late at night by the time you get back to um, camp. Uh, like like if you were on the surface, it'd be like yeah, eleven o'clock at night by the time you guys get back to camp. <laughs> Is there anything you guys are wanting to do before bed, or are you guys going straight to get some rest, debrief tomorrow? Uh, I think Biddlesby is just, like, joking with the goblins on the way back. Just, like, making fun of... <clears throat> like... <laughs> and can you believe the smell? No wonder they're called mud men. <laughs> they defecated on themselves. <laughs> When, when I get back, I want to go straight to the workshop. All and right. I want to I want to draw the houses we saw in, like, the landscape. Okay. Um, what what trades do you have? Um, glass blowing, jewelry, and cooking. Okay. Um, give me a... So maybe I could do like a silver plate or something. You mind if I assist you with my cartography skill? Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. If you guys want to work on that together, I, I will allow you guys to. Uh, yeah, swing by the shop. I definitely would swing by the shop if I saw your light on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make a cartography check. Um, right. With advantage. And I'll do jewelry. Um, yes. Also with advantage. What medals do we have around? Um. Uh, 
what? Okay, so hold on. I uh, think I'm I'm doing this from memory. So this is an intelligence-based cartography check. Uh, give me one second. I will look at uh, trade skill. Cartography, intelligence, or agility. Okay, definitely using one. That's uh, gonna be a fifteen. Okay. Altogether. All right, and then it's a uh, agility for jewelry. And then metal-wise, I would probably assume that you would have. Um, Maybe a little bit of silver or like tin, copper, maybe. Okay. Let me do like a, a silver copper Damascus. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Uh, just like a like a fourfold Damascus uh, so you can like start to see the lines through it um give me yeah give me a agility check uh, roll okay. roll agility uh you get advantage because Biddlesby is helping you as well hmm I'm going to use a luck ah, and another luck. Oh, so we does luck, luck reroll both? We don't have luck. We don't have luck. Oh, we do not have luck on this one. Yep. Oh, cool. Trats. That's um, a Sunday game. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, it's not good. Eight plus two plus two. So it's twelve. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's coming along. It's not. It's not the best work, but it's it's coming along. It's my first Damascus attempt, especially yeah, Damascus. and using these metals together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ark, are you doing anything as well? No, no. Just going back to my research. Oh, all right. I have a cup full of the water from the, you know, a cup full yep. of the water from the pond that I'm going to research. Yes, you have a you have a cup, quote unquote, of water. Mm hmm. All right, we got to do some research on that. Um, let's see. Give me a. Intelligence or agility? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with agility. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of my negative one intelligence, I'll go with my three agilities. Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna swap that. I'll make an intelligence check. Which will bring my total to two. Okay, um, you're initial attempts at uh, figuring anything out from the the water um, you're only using a small sample of water uh, you have you don't see any weird properties in it from your first attempt it makes sense yeah, yeah it, it's one of those things research research takes time many attempts have to be made. <laughs> All right, mm. you guys do this for a, a while uh, before eventually you know, retiring for a little bit of sleep. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. So in the morning, roughly, little debrief. Okay. Everybody goes to sleep. Morning comes. You guys all meet up inside the uh, the tent, Biddlesby's tent. 
All right. Good morning, commanders. Or chieftains. About morning. All right. Now, we have a couple of things on our radar that are happening. What is this radar we, you, you speak of? <laughs> Something we will have to research later. <laughs> came to me in a dream. <laughs> no, uh, I love when those things happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, uh, well, the mud men have advanced significantly. That's a concerning thing that maybe we should report back to command. If, uh, we want to. And I look at all of the chieftains and our... None of, none of them look like they're up for it. And, uh, Kuru goes, Ah, Fiddlesby, I would recommend not filing that report. Right. Because then you'd have to explain why you and your entourage, along with some of the goblin chieftains, went to the surface uh, is, without uh, orders. This is a yep. We'll just keep that. Uh, we'll just keep that to ourselves then. Yes. Not that I'm presuming to give orders, just, uh... No, my... I, I take your advisement, uh, <laughs> under consideration, as all good commanders should! And I, like, look around, make sure... <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, like, Slagwort is, like, giving you the, like, the, the nod of, like, yeah, that, that's reasonable. Um, <laughs> let's see, uh... Slink is, Slink is enthusiastically agreeing that great commander, great, <laughs> the best, the, the best, best. I've been told. he's the best commander, <laughs> he's wonderful, the best, <laughs> the absolute best, everyone says it, <laughs> yep, oh my gosh, Rucker's just kind of like nodding like a very tired, very overworked doctor would nod to you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, Drekken looks at you with, uh, meh. Meh. <laughs> uh, we also have the, uh, what was the big... Goblin. The Iron Spike Horde? Yes, the Iron Spike Horde. Yes, there's still the Iron Spike Horde that has to be dealt with. <sighs> we Any... should really go back and report to command about our victories. Our defeats. X nay on the mud men nay. They they kind of nod. Um, it is around that point where you hear um, some trumpets. Some trumpets. Yep. Ah. Who could that be signaling their arrival? <clears throat> As soon as I see the hear the trumpets, I'm gonna look at um, Biddlesby. And I'm gonna point up, and I'm gonna take off. All right. I rush the out moment, of the tent. Yep. As you rush out, and you you see Gaiden, uh, as he gets 
like 15, 20 foot off the ground, become a blur in the air. Um, you guys see uh, a fairly large amount of like centaurs and several heavily armed groups of elves appear. Um, and you see at the at the front uh thorn oh but you also see an individual riding next to thorn that you have not seen before oh okay and he looks he he's in golden or well, it looks golden armor very polished very very bright I, uh, I rush to meet them. <laughs> yeah, you, you come out of the tent and you're, oh, 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 <laughs> I'm like dusting off my armor as much as I can. <laughs> yep. Yeah. As like the goblins are just kind of like, all, all the, like all the work kind of slows down to like that crawl where they're all like looking over like what's going on. Yeah. Howdy. An army just appeared behind us. <laughs> uh, and and I I rush to meet uh, Thorin and the rest of them. Yep, you 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 come running up. Uh, as you come running up, uh, yeah, you hear Thorin talking with this individual you've not seen before, and um, yeah, uh, the the individual is very snappy very snippy towards Thorn mm. as you run up he goes uh, this is Centurion Biddlesby uh, he has been given a little bit of leeway and was able to accomplish some remarkable feats and victories here on the front and he has done the Legion proud uh, as you can see and he kind of gestures to the haphazard camp conditions I, uh, I, I, like, try and <laughs> make myself as presentable as possible. Oh, yeah, because you're, like, you're running up, you, you bet you got almost no sleep last night. Almost no you're sleep, covered in... <laughs> I'm covered in sweat. Sweat from helping, uh, Gaiden, and, you know, just, you look like, you look like hammered hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and I rush up and I go yes uh, no, uh Praetor right isn't that the... uh, Centurion Primus uh, Centurion Primus and I, uh, I do my you know salute you, you do the salute and he uh, uh, he gives you the salute back and then like with the other hand that's away from the guy, gestures the um, get down position. Okay. Yep. 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 Uh, 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 full. Yep. Yeah. You you take the knee and you bow your head. Yep. <laughs> uh. And, and, and I the, do the, not the, speak until spoken to until. <laughs> yep. And he looks down and goes. Centurion Biddlesby. And he like gestures his hand up. He goes, rise. I I slowly rise. He looks at, he just like looks over your camp. And you can see the look of like disappointment. <laughs> as, as he just I was told you have a troll. Uh, we do. Uh, Arg uh, is uh, one of our finest members of the uh, battalion here. Oh. And where is this Arg? Um, I can uh, fetch him right away, sir. He just looks at you. 
I, I rush to go fetch Arg. <laughs> you, you run off. Um... Yeah. Uh, you, you go run to, to one of the few places you think Arg might be. Uh, his, his workshop. Yep. Uh, Arg is. Are you are you there at your workshop, Arg? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I assume you're passed out still. Me? No, I never passed out. I was I was I was researching. <laughs> right, right, right. But like you know, it's been a long day. You were up on the surface. It was, it's been a long uh, day. Yeah, There's a lot of right. cow that you. There was a lot of cow that you had. Yeah, Arg is in a beef coma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you you like rush in and you just see Arg with this cauldron of a cup and like most of a of a cow leg eaten still in his hand like like the most drunken frat boy you can imagine with food in one hand and beer in another. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> Arg. <laughs> Arg, please wake up. <laughs> Arg, please. <clears throat> we have a very important individual who requests your presence. <laughs> Arg hasn't been this full since the bread incident two weeks ago. <laughs> Arg. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sensing that something is going wrong inside Arg's tent, I'm gonna swoop down from the the crow's nest into the tent. Yeah, you watch uh, Biddlesby run into one of the the holes that the goblins have, and you mm-hmm. you dive into there because you know you, you know Arg's Arg does Arg things. He's he's underground with Biddlesby, obviously. <laughs> you go in there and you just see Arg Lane like in in a weird position where he's just kind of like back against like back and head kind of against the wall sprawled out <clears throat> eat in one hand and and a cauldron of water in the other hand I'm gonna it'll be frantically like shaking our trying to get him Arr, to please. wake up I'm going to kick the meat out of his hand. <laughs> um, yeah, could you make a dexterity check for me? Me? Yeah. Just make a general attack roll to, to kick it out. No, I'm more considering him surviving what happens afterwards. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, because that's... <laughs> Make an agility check with advantage. It'll be a... Uh, <laughs> uh, Natural 20. Okay, plus 8 to hit, so you, you manage to dodge. Uh, yeah, so Arg goes to swing at you, and he, it's it's like he telegraphed the whole punch, and you're just like, oh, this is... the slowest punch I've ever seen in my life, as you sidestep it. Um, Biddlesby. Arg strikes with tremendous force and with a, an incredible speed as you watch Arg punch an after image of Gaiden. Did you just try to take my food? Uh, we need you awake. We need you right now. <laughs> Why? Important person needs to see Arg in all his glory. It's a perfect Arg. time for one of your pranks, as you would say. Arg, like, stands up and stretches and pops everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and Arg right. covered. Arg's whole front is covered in the grease and and blood and fat of butchered cow and then eaten butchered cow. Let's go. Hey, hey, Arg. 
could you forgive me for 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 what I'm about to do? What are you about to do? And I try to tip his like cauldron of water over him to try and wash some of the junk off. Uh yeah, no. You you get acquainted with the opposite wall of the shop as art very <laughs> carefully. That's the cauldron of water back in its place. <laughs> Not for cleaning. Ark is remarkably gentle with shoving you. Yep. <laughs> yep. As you fly against the other wall. <laughs> but you can tell Arg was being gentle. Yep. About it. Oh, yeah. Love tap. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys, get up. You guys, you know, head out into the thing. Um, I'll try and brush myself off to to make up for having lunch. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just like limping my way back, <laughs> and I you am do that hundred like, percent in the wall. I am playing it up a hundred percent to make it like. Like, I looked like a hot mess before. I look like a ragged hot mess now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, meanwhile, you know, Bug's cleaning himself as yep. he's walking behind you, and he's just like, okay. <laughs> uh, you guys make it to the surface. You do not see the, you do not see Thorn or the, the nicely armored figure out where you left them. Uh, but you do see a contingent of, like, 20 very well-armed, very well-armored elves surrounding your tent. Yep, that's where they are. Uh, we, we go there. <laughs> you go in, and, um... Uh, I very... brush him... I brush Biddlesby off as much as I can on the way there. Yep, yep. And uh, as, as you walk in, you see the, probably the most terrifying thing imaginable. No. Thorn is, is kneeling on, on both knees uh, with his face in the dirt, being berated by this armored figure. This is the kind of discipline you instill in your legionnaires and your centurions. And like the moment you enter the tent, his attention goes from Thorn to looks directly at you with, you can see, barely contained fury behind his eyes. Yep. Ah. Uh. And I'm right behind, right beside him for this. Yep, yep, you are right beside I, him. Uh, <laughs> Your battle buddy is getting in trouble. <laughs> yep, I uh, I reach my hand over to his back, and I just rest it in the smell of his back, and I just uh, I trickle some magic into his leg to help him stand up straight. <laughs> oh yeah, you you heal, please, please heal. Mm -hmm. Ah. Centurion Biddlesby is so glad that you were able to rejoin us as he leans against the center post. It, it's not like there was, you know, you couldn't have sent anyone else to go fetch your comrades. I, Arg doesn't listen to... I'm going them. to roll a stealth check before entering the tent. Okay, roll roll a stealth check as you're you're behind Biddlesby and Gaiden, and they're not really paying attention to you. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Where did I put that? There it is. All right, that will be a sixteen. Yep, you thump out of existence. Uh. I, as, as, so you and you and Gaiden are inside the tent. Yep. I I state uh, Arg is a troll. 
and very particular on how he operates, how he moves. We have to acquiesce to certain things, and one of those things is he doesn't listen to anyone but me. As you're as you're saying this, he begins to pace back and forth behind your behind your table. Yep. Uh very aggressive posturing. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It goes. All of this is sell, said from a knelt position. Uh huh. He goes, and you haven't broken the stroll. You you have barely contained the ability to somehow give it orders as he stops and looks directly at you. You couldn't even get. He points to Gaiden, your subordinate to go, to go get him. You can't even rely upon your subordinate to do a simple task, to rouse the troll, and you didn't even bring the troll. I I've slipped around behind him. Uh huh. And uh, preferably out of line of sight of both him and um, Thorn, and then become visible and like lounging. Right. Thorn, Thorn is On face down in the dirt. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, this this nicely armored figure is uh, staring directly at both Gaiden and Biddlesby, and like you can see the th- you can see the daggers flying from his eyes. <laughs> I and then Biddlesby in uh, horror. Yeah, you see I see. Arg. Him. Materialized behind, behind him. him. Now I'm I'm like I I'm in that lying on the side with the one uh, elbow on the ground and my head resting in the palm of my hand. But like I start to swallow wildly. That like my head is about face level with this guy uh-huh. while I'm lounging. And he goes so um, <clears throat> Biddlesby and. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> Eric um, Knight, uh, uh, can you explain uh, to me uh, um, where the troll is and clear I, your throat, Legionnaire? I I slap Biddlesby on the thigh and I point. I, I... <laughs> and then Grace. as soon as he acknowledges, I snap my hand back to attention. If you would, but look behind. That look of like, you think I'm so stupid that I'm going to fall for the oldest trick in the book. Please. <laughs> I will humor you. It's he such turns... sincerity in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he turns and like the moment his peripheral vision sees Arg back there, uh, he turns Arg. The troll. Hi. That was a pretty good trick. He looks back at Biddlesby. How did he do it? Stealth check. Stealth check. <laughs> All right. Make make another stealth check. That will be a twenty-one. You again fade from just. You, Middlesby, you see the, the red flash in the yeah, eyes? Yeah, yeah. And he's gone again, and you're... Oh, God. <laughs> he goes, so how did he do it? That, that is a good trick. I like that. As soon as Arg disappears, I close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the moment your eyes are closed for longer than, like, a half of a second, like, you're not blinking, you're just closing them and, like, doing the... Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Uh, he immediately points down at Thorn with, like, the the knife hand and goes, this is, again, the level of discipline that you have instilled in your troops. Your legionnaires don't even, don't even provide the proper eye contact. And they are fatigued to the point where they can't even keep their eyes open. Your grace, if you... Back to you. How did you get him to do it? I. It is an ability that Arg has innately. I don't know how. It may even be 
a, a troll ability that they've developed recently. I don't understand it fully. And what is this ability you're talking about? To turn invisible, sir. He, the, you say that he pauses, he turns around, Arg is not there. I'm, I'm going to sit on uh, Biddlesby's desk in front of... As soon as there's enough space between the desk and the guy, right? Uh-huh. I sit right in front of him and reappear. At, uh, elbows on knees, chin on fists. He turns back around, sees just a mountain of fur, and he goes... Invisibility. Uh, and he, like, peeks around and goes... So how does he become invisible? Okay. He looks at you and goes, how do you do it? Can it be taught to others? And he looks over and at you can it be taught to others? Can elves survive mind-shattering agony for hours on end? He looks at you completely unfazed. And in fact, <clears throat> he is going to make an intimidation check. Oh no. Oh no. So what would I roll against his intimidation check? Uh, I assume it is... Like a charisma save? Might I think save? so, yeah. I think it would be a charisma or a mental save? Wait. Uh, mystical defense, maybe? My mystical defense is 13, but that would be against magic attacks. And You're so... right. Okay, yeah, just give me a mental saving throw. Like, like intelli- that. An intelligence or charisma, either one. I'll do charisma. I actually have some charisma, so... That will be... An 18. Okay, uh, yeah, he stares at you with the level of fire in his eyes with a 25. (laughs) That you feel small. (laughs) The knife hand pointed at you. It now makes you feel small. He goes, can you teach it to other trolls? How? You have? Yes. Wait, there's another troll and he looks down at Thorn. There's another troll. Why wasn't I informed of this? Recent development. And he looks at Biddlesby and you didn't send a report? We thought that uh, uh, Dulon Soul would have reported it when he came to teach of our new communications. And he looks at Thorn. Was it reported? (laughs) I don't remember being briefed on this. (laughs) He goes, So what other lapses of reporting and following uh, protocols and maintaining discipline and order have uh, <clears throat> fallen by the wayside without without direct supervision. Yes. <clears throat> he, he like presses his fingers together and he goes, okay, so this is what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to give Thorn and Biddlesby 10 minutes to figure out everything that I need to be told about and informed about. And he looks at, he points at Gaiden and goes, you are going to take me around this little camp that you've created here. You're going to show me everything that might be worth showing me. And he looks at Biddlesby and Thorn, rise. Piddlesby, rise. Rise. And he, he makes the gesture to your guys' to your 
to your table in your chair. Yep. He goes, please, by all means, sit, talk. Gaiden, come on, show me around. Arg, stay. <laughs> all right. So, first thing I want to show him is our, um, our staging area. And I want to, like, try to point out that we've only just arrived this, like, this, like, early morning, kind of. Uh-huh. Uh, from a long battle march, essentially. Um, now, I want you to, I want you to feel as though you are the E1 private giving the sergeant major, the command <laughs> sergeant major, the, the, the patrol around. Oh, I thought I was, like, a lieutenant. Right, but... The way he's kind of barking and like pointing and doing okay. everything, yeah, you, you feel like the, you feel like the lowest man on the totem pole. Okay, so E that E3 gives two words to the the G1. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the level of nervousness that you have. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, sir, come over this way, and you'll see our. Our staging area. Um, this is where uh, we've got we got back super late uh, last night, and uh, we, this is where we've staged all our gear after getting back. Um, <clears throat> and then he over this like, way, he just looks uh, at it. And goes, oh, continue. Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> so, and over here, um, this is kind of where the goblins stay. Uh, this is kind of like their camp, really. Uh, we've kind of just kind of retrofitted it to ours. You'll see our implements that we've added um, over there, there, and the, if you actually turn around, so there's two more behind you. Um, there's like ballista and turrets uh, for like operating ranged weapons from. So uh, yeah, we got those built, and then up, if you turn your gaze up above us, sir. Uh, do you see the structures up against the ceiling? It was yep. Yeah. I see him. Uh, that's where I stay uh, as lookout over the whole camp. Don't you have goblins that can perform that task? Uh, it, they are argumented uh, so by my skills uh, during battles that we have, sir. Okay. So, uh, yes. Uh, so we've got the goblins. Uh, so they actually run the camp. Uh, so they were really efficient bread makers, actually. Uh, we've turned up their stoves. We've got, like, we've got all the goblins. Like, they can all make bread. Uh, so, uh... You're talking uh, about can... bread. He's glaring at you. <laughs> yeah. And then right over here, you'll actually come up on my workshop. And I, like, scratch my chest. But we... Um, well, yeah, you could step inside. Hey, what have you been working on here? Um, so I've, I've coming up with some new metals. Um, I, as he says, it, he picks up your Damascus plate and he goes, what is this? Um, that's kind of a test sheet that I was kind of messing around with the properties of silver and copper to see if I could establish a really nice trade metal. He goes, and what about this little, uh image that you've tried putting onto it. Um, I rub my nose. He, well, he it's... stops looking at it, looks at you as you pause. Today? Yeah, so that it, it's like a cabin in the woods. I was, I was testing the malleability of the transitions between the silver and the copper. Just to kind of see if it would work. He holds it we'll up see. to the glow of the of the forge. He goes, "That's some that's some good detail for just a cabin." I, I so far, sir, I really think it's I think it's a success. I'm I'm really enjoying working with this combination of metals. I like the like the properties of copper and silver. Really like they're. I don't know if you know much about biology. Uh, there's like microbes that get on there, and the copper and the silver just eat the microbes, and they just it just it's 
It's it's so beautiful, sir. I could I could go on and on. <laughs> have you heard about steel, sir? <laughs> he sets the plate down and he goes, "What else have you been working on in here?" I don't uh, need yes. a, I don't need information on metallurgy. What else have you been working uh, on? Um. Ah, yes. I have something I've been working on for the quartermaster up at Thorn's uh, establishment. Ah. Uh, so yeah, you'll take a look at this, sir. And I hand him my best uh, headset that I've been able to craft so far. He goes, "All right, what is it?" As he looks, uh, he's looking at it. He goes, yeah. So go ahead and put it on. He, he gives you the most disgusted look as he's like, put it on. I give him a double thumbs up. <laughs> as he puts it on. He puts it on, and he looks outside and he's like... Mm -hmm. Right, and now you can flip those it. up and down. As you say that, he lifts it up and he pulls it back down, and he like starts doing it quicker, and he's like... Son, what have you got here? <clears throat> I call... Uh, this my uh well sir I, I don't exactly have a, a name for it but it's my magnificently magnifying multipling um eyeglasses sir wearable takes them off hands them back to you and he goes what else do you got um This, we've we've been in battle, sir. I, I this is what I've had time for so far, since we've been on mission. He goes, all right, all right. Anything else in this camp that I need to be aware of? As yeah, the guards that were following you and everything, and like his his hard ass demeanor kind of like fades away as you show him something worthwhile. Yeah. Um. And he kind of sits down on, like, a chair and props his legs up and goes, Anything else I need to know about in this camp? There's the bestiary where we sleep the trolls. Eh, he waves his hand and goes, You think I properly scared uh, Biddlesby and Thorn? Sir, uh, I don't think I should speak on that very freely, but I do think they were affected. He, he just looks at you and goes, I'm... I'm commanding you to speak freely. You think they were shaken, sir? Good, good, good. So give me a give me a proper status report. What 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 do we got going on out here? Um, I think the goblins are doing good. They're really getting along uh, much better than anticipated since we've got here. Um, we're able to establish a couple of things. We're um, you've. You've heard about the uh, the the monitor messenger service, of course. A little bit ago, that's pretty fun. Yeah, um, yeah, but, but like, can they be integrated, or is this something that we should? Um, <clears throat> can what be integrated? Here? Them. The goblins. Well, I mean, like, yeah, the goblins. Can they be integrated, or is this something more akin to like you know? Um, I believe mental. they're capable of hierarchy. Um, but not on their own. They definitely need a higher up from a different species. It nods. He goes, "Are they, are they at least sufficient enough to be useful in a fight?" In a fight, they're ravenous. Okay, okay. I've seen some of them look absolutely like units out there. How how'd you yes. do that? That, those are war goblins, or war tusks. What makes them different than the rest of them? Um, they're just bigger all around. They are little. They seem to be not only bigger, but a little bit more power dense than the other goblins. So, very cool like species. A, it's like a it subsplit. I was gonna say, is it isolated, or is this something we should be worried about on the frontier? So far, it's been just the one tribe. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, he looks around and goes, the fortifications look nice. And 
Uh, he's like peeking, peeking through the doors and windows. And he's like, it's "Good location." They are battle fresh, ready for a cleaning. Yes, they're not the best quality, but I could see about getting some uh, some engineers over here. We would be most honored. Oh yeah, this is a great location. This would be a wonderful fort. Now, what do you think about your commander? And what do you think about your commander's commander? Um... I need an honest assessment there, soldier. Give me a real assessment. Is Biddleby, well, is Biddleby a good Biddleby is, is great in battle. He's... But can he lead? Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he's got great vision. He's always looking out over the battlefield and giving out commands and making sure the proper flow is established. All right, and what do you, um, think, about, what do you think about Thorn? Thorn seems to be able to uh, handle the units placed under his command quite well. Um, I mean, we're the test unit, so it's, it's kind of us. And then, you know, we're just kind of out here right now. So you do know, on the operation to take out that large goblin encampment, that uh, first person to breach the walls, they get a hefty prize. Oh yeah, sir. Just what uh, is uh? What's what? What do you th what's what's that going to be about, sir? Yes. Well, we're thinking about implementing this new. Uh, it's new concept to the legions. First one on the wall gets uh It's a golden tower. And then gets enough, yeah. They get to become the hero of the conflict, whatever the war front or whatever the battle is, they get to be the hero of that battle. And then <laughs> we give them a stipend of 5,000 gold pieces. Ah. A golden tower with 5,000 gold pieces. Well, the That's golden really... tower is like a small miniature thing. It's like a, it's a status symbol. Ah, like a personal monolith? Kind of, yeah. It's like, yeah. Okay. It's, and he like gestures. He's got it like maybe like a foot and a half, two foot tall. Okay. Is yes. it's it's more of a symbol of like what what you did. We're thinking about implementing this, and you know I'm. I think this conflict against these goblins is going to be a uh, good defining point for this. Um, there's just one particular point of contention that I need to see see to. What's that, sir? It needs to be one of the uh, non-goblin species on the wall first. Sir? You, you get what I'm saying, right? I think I understand. Yeah. Uh, we can't allow the goblins who have you've just recently corralled them into a semblance of working order to receive that kind of prize. They need to be yearning for it. Be willing to put more in to get it. Yes, I think I understand, sir. I'll see to it. Right. And then, at that point, we're going to cut back over to Biddlesby, Arg, and Thorn. Thorn looking exasperated and unhinged at the level of, like, what the f*** is going on, Biddlesby? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> like what the hell happened? What do you mean? You just left. Why? I. He said to get Ark. Did someone else? Did someone to find Gaiden? Anything but leaving the prince. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I look. Arg 
is very particular. <laughs> he goes, I, I am. I understand, but this could be both of our careers. This could be both of our heads. I, I completely understand. So, I lead the Grand Commander back into the tent, and I start oh, no, to chuckle like, with him. This is this is before this is before. Okay. This is like you guys during are... your tour, dude. Yeah, okay. you're during your tour, and you talking with him and showing him stuff. Like this okay. is them. Talking. Yeah. <laughs> the whole time though, after our dialogue, I'm sawsome that <laughs> up, like with yeah. like slobber words. Well, he he's also just like he he waves away like the slobber words. It gives you more of like a keep it real with me, soldier. I need to know what's happening. I need to know the state of the. The state of what's on the ground. Oh yeah, both. Yeah. So he's like, no, no, no. Be very, be very cavalier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, going back though, he goes, "This could be both of our heads, Biddlesby. Not just our careers. I, I'm aware. Our heads. I, I understand, sir." He, and he's like mopping his face with his hand, just like, oh, huh. Oh. Like, I know, I know, Biddlesby. You've had a lot on your plate. This has been an active war zone for like a month now. I get it. You've done the best you can with what you got. I probably should have sent more soldiers to back you up after you started to get some uh, some headway here. But, I mean, you did good. And he like, he, he just kind of, he's like, you did good. I... What, what can we give him? What, what news, what... Something, anything. What have we got to like really knock his socks off and like, you know, save our lives here? So I'm I'm relying on we, you, Biddlesby, to save us both. Not only do we have Arg that can go invisible, but we have a, a, a female troll that also can go invisible. He puts his hands together. Can he look? He puts his hands together, looks at you, and goes, "Can they?" And he looks up at Arg and goes. Make more of themselves? Well, trolls are more capable of surviving hours of torturous agony, so maybe. Like, and he kind of like does the the hands doing the scales thing, like reproduction, making baits. As he says with the biggest. Please smile. Yeah, I just got a three on an intelligence check. <laughs> what does one use to make babies? Cauldron? Okay. He just looks at Biddlesby and goes, you, This is something you're going to have to deal with, but like. I, I, that, yeah, that. Art, do you like Biddlesby and me? It, he's like tilting his head back and forth. Mm -hmm. Remember, I gave you a whole tent of food. Mm. I can send more food. Yeah, have goblins We're... for food. Is there anything you need that I could get you? Mm. Could use some alchemy reagents. Rare, valuable. Done. I will get them. But just agree to... just. Just agree to the, the making more trolls. Or getting more trolls. Finding more trolls. Capturing trolls. Convincing them to join you like you did with the female troll. I believe I can be of assistance. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. That, and he looks at Bensby, goes, that might be what we need. Okay. That could be, you that give could be me, good. You give me alchemy ingredients. And I will become your friend, and as your friend, I will pursue your interests, to an extent. He goes, I will definitely make sure we are friends. And he looks at Biddlesby and he goes, what else do we got? We got, we got Arg being willing to go recruit more trolls, and each of <laughs> the tribes that were passing through this region on their way to join the uh, iron whatever iron spike yeah. the iron spikes uh, 
has either bent the knee or perished. Because that's good news. Uh, mostly, they bent the knee. Yes. Uh, yes. So. So this front is dealt with. What? What? What else can we give him? Like, there's got to be more. Remember, it's our lives on the line. It's our careers on the line. How did the battles go? Give. Are they good? Are they good fighters? Can we? Could we use them in 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 an assault against the iron spikes? Would they be effective at this? I think you give me in this battalion of goblins a target, and that target won't survive. Yes. <sighs> okay, Biddlesby. I. I believe in you. That's why I put you on this. And you have surpassed expectations. You have done amazing things. I believe you can do with these goblins and your crew. Because I think you can actually get the... Uh, if When the targets are put in front of you guys, I believe you can take care of them. But what are we going to do to impress this prince enough... So that we can make it to fighting the goblins. Is is there anything else? Anything at all? Any anything to to give? To any information? Anything? gonna roll a d20 and okay. on uh 11 or higher i don't tell him about the cultural exchange okay <clears throat> 10 or lower and you do yeah okay Guys, that's a 15. Okay. I I look at him and say, Gaiden's been working on a lot of stuff in his shop. Yes. Is Gaiden good at what he does? Well, yeah, he has me to help a lot of the time. <laughs> yes, yeah, but I mean, like, is he... Yeah, he, like, gestures to his head and goes, like, you know, does he got, like, big ideas? Can he, like, like what's what, is he like engineer like he, like a siege engineer kind of yeah. like he's got some ideas okay okay we can work with this we can work with this i can upsell it oh we might we might be able to keep our heads just uh now on, on the other thing you have got to get these goblins in some semblance of a disciplined order. Because uh, it was not a good look for us to just roll up on your camp and, and not even the sound of enemy, like, not even the sound of, like, a, a t alert, attention, something, anything. Just we, we got all the way up to your camp. If we were hostile, we would have been able to just, you know, come right in and butcher everything. Well, to be fair, Thorin, most every hostile thing was coming from the other direction. I'm, I'm aware, but it's just from the prince's perspective, we just it's not disciplined, it's not orderly. You heard him. Like, I, I know you're doing what you can. Yeah. You know. Sir, you gave me a troll, a sprite, and said, I, go for it. I am aware. You have worked miracles here. I'm just saying, if you can get them in, like, orderly rows, set up a couple sentries, things like that, uh, you know, obviously you're not going to have a full setup of encampment to where, like, you have walls and all that other stuff, but, like, just a general sense of 
you know, legionnaire discipline, like legion discipline, doesn't have to be exact, but just a little bit, it'll go a long way. Here's. I am impressed at everything you've done. Personally, I think you've done a fantastic job. Especially seeds how, like you just said, it was an elf, a sprite, and a troll. And the elf and sprite have to keep, you know, control of the troll in order to, you know, get get this done. And look at what you guys have done. And he just, just, just he gestures to the whole camp. Obviously, you can't see the whole camp because you guys are inside the tent. But oh, he yeah. just gestures around yeah. and he goes, you've done wonders. He goes, I, I hope that uh, we have enough to sell here that uh, everything turns out okay and we just get, you know, the little a little yelling at like we've had, you know, our, our pride takes a little bit of a hit and we can, you know, we can move forward. And he goes, Arg, I will get you whatever ingredients you need. Just smile and nod. Arg smiles and nods nice big troll smile yep slightly unnerving but he's like good enough it is what we got with it, it is I, we we will work with what we got <laughs> he goes okay but nothing else weird has gone on nothing else i need to you know tell him about no no extra details no nope. right it's okay okay and at that point, Gaiden walks in with the prince. Arg is still sitting on the table. <laughs> Immediate <laughs> kneel. <laughs> kneel. Thorn kneels. Gaiden? Yes. <clears throat> uh, you, you walk in, and you, the moment you, like, flap, like, you know, Fling the tent doors open. Mm -hmm. Biddlesby and Thorn both drop to a knee. The prince walks in. And that's that's when I tell the prince. And, and that's when I looked at Arg and I said, Arg, don't eat that, please. <laughs> uh, as, as you guys get in there, he's like, It's good that you informed me of the troll's diet. He hey, eats hey, the strangest he, things, sir. He 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 gives you that stern look of like we have to re go back to being disciplined. <laughs> Treat me like a prince. <clears throat> and I like I straighten up. Hey, you... uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he looks at Thorn and goes Okay. So, and he points at you, Biddlesby, and goes, Report. Well, sir, we are one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the five tribes in this region that would have joined the Iron Spike clan have all uh, agreed to. Uh, bend the knee to the legion. It's good. Um, not without some casualties, but it was, uh, was so. Um, we not only have, as you saw before, the, uh, shifting, uh, visible troll, uh, but also a uh, potential uh, mate for him that uh, they can procreate and make more that can go invisible. A pause. Looks at Arg and goes, Arg, is this true? You have a mate that can also go invisible and you're willing to make offspring for us? Arg smiles and nods, but with like one of those, yeah, uh huh, but no, not really. I have no idea what you're talking about. Looks on his face. Okay, you have that, like, yes. I have no idea what you're saying, but yes. Uh huh. 
Okay. That's good. Anyways, what else? Any hey, points back at you, Bettlesby? Resume. Um, what else you got? If uh, good Sir Gaiden had uh, taken you to the workshop, I'm sure he's shown you many of his uh, gadgetry and ideas that he's uh, come up with. It was yeah. He showed me the he showed me the plate. Um, and he showed cold me... bead of sweat. <laughs> Uh, he also showed me his uh, magnificent. I give him like an OK flag. symbol from like low below my belt. Yep. Uh, and he also showed me those those eyeglass things, the the magnificent magnification things. Um, yes, he showed me that. And he looks down at your table and he sees your sketch, your drawing. Picks it up, and goes, "Huh?" And he points at you. He goes, "You draw this, or is this?" And he points over at Gaiden. His drawing. Uh, we worked on it together. So. Yes, this looks like that uh, scene on your plate. Like this looks like that. Is this? Did you guys work on this so that you could put it on there? I nod. Huh. He looks at you, Gaiden, and goes, Did you spend time on the surface? Or not Gaiden, uh, Biddlesby. Did you spend time on the surface? Um, well, sir. In fact, we all have. Uh, we were sent to Avalon. Oh, that is right. You are that group. And he looks at, he looks at Thor and goes, oh, that was good work. That was solid work. Continue. What else you got for me? Um, As you just have sweat, like, billowing off of you. Yep, yep. Uh, well... Some uh, mapping of uh, the lower tunnels has been done. Uh, and I show him a couple of my cartography maps. <laughs> he, he looks at them and goes, these are very well done. Good detail. Have you not Did you notice any points of uh, interest, such as, like, you know, possibly material like you know, iron gold silver I, anything like that i'd point out any deposits we may have seen and more importantly i point out any bottlenecks or any like areas that would be trepidatious okay then he goes well it's very militarized nothing wrong with that in the future this is uh, a word to the wise. Mark everything you can see, like all the deposits and everything. Maybe even he looks at Thorn and goes, "You might want to make sure that he has someone who can do geological surveys to make sure, like, yeah, to see if there's any materials while they're going out and doing these little expeditions into these lower tunnels." Because again, this. You have essentially cleared out this section of the frontier. That means we can start extracting some of these resources. Yes, sir. <sighs> Not bad. Continue. Sir, that's... That's all I have to report. He steeples his fingers together and goes, Okay. Looks at Thorn and goes, Thorn? The state of this camp is abysmal. You have done the Legion a massive disservice. 
However, in spite of your incompetence, it does not suit to remove a commander so soon to a new battle. And he looks at you, Biddlesby, and he goes, that also goes for you. So. Because we're on the eve of driving out the Iron Spikes, you two will maintain your positions. I will have investigations done. And... If you are found to be wanting, if there's the slightest hint that you guys are engaged in any sort of tomfoolery or shenanigans, it will not end well for you. And he dismisses Gaiden and Arg. I assume both of you guys leave. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And like, looks... Arg is doing the whole, I, I was planning on going this way anyway kind of thing, but he, 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 he's he gone. Yep. Uh, and he looks, he looks at both of you and he goes, My father would have your heads. I, far more lenient, we have to put on the show. We have to do the dance and the ponies and all this. He points at Gaiden and goes, He's got a mind on him, and he's crafty. Those those goggles that he's been making. And he gives the 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 big good symbol, like the big okay, and he goes those revolutionary goes the location you've chosen for this this base phenomenal now as fellow elves we have to ensure a certain level of control a certain level of influence respect I've heard good things but you all need to remember you not only represent the legion you represent the king you represent elves as a whole be better do better Just overall, not bad. The campaign to wipe out these iron spikes, <laughs> as long as you guys see it done faithfully. And he puts his hand on Biddlesby's shoulder and he goes, As long as you are. And he, like, gets super close to your eyes, like, face to face. Yep. Looking you directly in the eyes and goes, The first on the wall. We won't have a problem. Big gulp. He goes, I know. It's dangerous. But I need you to be the first on the wall, Biddlesby. Be done, Ghost. my liege. You do this, you get this done. Minimal casualties to the Legion, to hell with the goblins. The Legion comes out mostly unscathed. Doesn't matter if the goblins are all wiped out, doesn't matter. The Legion comes out relatively unscathed. Solid victory, rout to our enemies. And 
I will see that you guys both get your due rewards, promotions, awards, celebration. You will be heroes of the realm. Yes. But we all have to play our parts. Is this understood? Crystal. Good. And he looks at Thorn, goes, Biddlesby will be on the wall first. No other species will get the wall. Is that understood? This is of vital importance. You've already proven yourself capable. I've heard that you are a formidable frontline commander. It shouldn't be too terrible. <laughs> and all you have to do is get on the wall first. That's all. Show the rest of these species why the elves are kind of at the top. Do we understand each other? Yes. We do. Good. Now, to the um, last bit. My sister will be arriving at some point. She will be And he points at you, Biddlesby. She will be staying in this encampment. It is the safest encampment. Because it is the one that's furthest from the front. As you have cleared out all the threats, right, Biddlesby? As he nods. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. So this is the safest place she can be while being close to the front and inspecting and investigating and you know, doing her due diligence to be seen. Yes, sir. Nothing bad will happen to her. Correct, sir. Good, 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 good. <laughs> and he puts his hand on your shoulder and goes... And he gives the, the tight grip that makes your, your armored shoulder creak under the, yep. the grip. He goes, ensure that she returns to my father in the same condition that he is allowing her out in. And he lets go, and he goes, alright, Thorn, it is time for me to leave this place. And he marches out, Thorn following right behind. Arg, you and Gaiden both watch as the prince and Thorn leave Biddlesby's tent. Could have taken him. <laughs> A group of 30 elves just surround the prince and walk behind him as his bodyguards <laughs> he sees you guiding and he gives you the he gives you a thumbs up fiddles me you're inside the tent alone I just stay there kneeling for a little bit and then I wait until I hear the footsteps of the 30 plus group leave, like mm -hmm. get far enough away. Then from my kneeling position, I scream out, Slag Skulk! <laughs> You yell out Slink Skulk. Slink Skulk is there. You watch Slink 
Arg, you and Gaiden, watch Link Skull. Full sprint from like a hundred feet away. <laughs> yeah, he was just casually available watching. <laughs> And he just books it. It comes, ah, uh, hands behind his back. Ah, uh, yes, yes, uh, Mr. Piddlesby. Where Commander. were yes. any of your scouts? And he goes, they were out in the front. We were making sure that there were, you know, all the potential threats were dealt with out. F and he points towards the, the gate and he goes, out that way, I didn't know that we needed to watch the back. Neither did I! <laughs> but What'd apparently we do! Goes, so I, we need I am two sorry. people at the least! He goes, I will correct this uh, oversight on my part. I should have I should have known better. I should have I should have done better. I will I will make corrective actions. I will make sure that the scouts are amply punished as he's slowly backing away out of the tent. I go from my kneeling <laughs> to standing. See that you do. And I walk out of the tent after him. <laughs> and he is running yep. away. <laughs> yep. You see him like bark at like some of his other his other guys, he's like, get everybody, get everybody, everybody. <laughs> Arg walks over to Biddlesby. Could have been worse. What's procreate? <laughs> I just look up at Arg. Please, not now. Not now. Okay, go ask goblins instead. No! <laughs> uh... <laughs> that kind of feels like a good place to stop it. <laughs> okay. I, I wasn't even finished at the time. I'm just yeah. rolling. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I would love to keep going, it just that felt like a natural end. Yeah. <laughs> to... Surprise inspection from the general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the guy who's been all like, maybe I might not be full legionnaire. <laughs> and he's just like, hey, by the way, elf supremacy. Uh, I'm so torn. <laughs> yeah, what level is that guy? He's gotta be stupid high level. That's like, come on. That's gotta be at least a, a eight or a nine. <laughs> Wait, That's what I was thinking. Keep in mind, he is also the prince. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. That was happened. an interesting place for Arg to be in. Mm -hmm. That was... yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whew. I, I, I thought it was pretty solid. That was... Oh yeah, no, that was phenomenal. that was the only time I can think of that Arg had the tables turned on him. I mean, like, with the... with the... with the... Uh, what was his name? Runt? Right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was rough, but at the same time, it was just because it was damage dealer against damage dealer, so... It was just a question of which dealt the more damage quicker. Yeah, that was but a solid that, <laughs> Where he's like, you know, I think I'll just sit on this table for an indefinite period of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not scared of me, but he makes me feel small while, while he yells at me. <laughs> I was uh, not telling them about the liquid. I was not doing that. <laughs> nope. You almost spilled that on Arg. Uh, that would have been so good. So good. <laughs> I just thought it was water. It's all it looks like to you. Yeah. Yep. So Arg, it is, uh, it is bright red. Yeah. 
Uh, Look, all I'm saying is if I had a choice between diving into a pool of that and diving into a pool of lava, it would take me a really long time to decide. <laughs> My goodness gracious. What what a session, though. What an episode. What a fantastic surprise from Korn. My goodness, what a, what a cool session. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a lot of Mudman stuff. <laughs> I was too until Arg said, I will scare them, and Gaiden said, I shall break their weapons. <laughs> <laughs> that is just I want to disarm them. <laughs> I was like, okay, you guys are going to murder Mudman. I was like, cool, and then nope, we're just going to scare them off. Okay. <laughs> Arg, Arg, Arg's thought process was... But then I'd need to take cow out of the backpack, and no, oh, okay. I have beef. <laughs> Arg is fully loaded on food. Uh, oh, yeah. Arg doesn't want to waste food. Arg ate part of a leg of the cow and was full. So yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, you guys, you guys did some did some amazing things. I was, I'm just, I'm glad everybody enjoyed the RP session on that one. Oh, that oh yeah, was a lot of fun. I I had a, a blast. I hope you all had a blast. It was a blessing to have all of you guys, and gals, with us today, and I hope all of you were just as blessed. All right, we're gonna hit that outro and and all that other good stuff. Well, before I do that, let's ask these wonderful people what they got going on in their life. Corn's demon. I was gonna say, are you gonna pick someone? Or is yeah, this just... I'm just out, okay. out of the blue. Corn's corn's demon. What you got going on? I've got a whole lot of nothing as I have stumbled into the uh, writer's block. Oh no! So I've got five pages left on my short story, and I am stuck. Oh, oh boy. Uh, but beyond that, everything's everything's going well. I got moved into a partial training role at work, which is amazing. But technically speaking, I'll be making less money in that position, but I make close to the same amount, and I don't have to sell all the time, which is great. Yeah. Good, sir. Kit Nightblade, Gaiden. Oh. oh, yes, that's me. Oh. Um. What you got going on in your life? Oh. Just trying to keep up with stuff, and I don't know. Maybe start a big project, maybe. Yeah. That'd be one. All right. Yeah. And of course, Midwest Dungeon Delvers, we got all sorts of crazy stuff going on. New music, new gaming streams, just come hang out, chill with us, whenever. Because schedules be crazy, especially when finding new jobs and stuff. But either way, neither here nor there. Uh... We'll see you next time. Peace, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Arch the troll with strength of stone. Cave and mud his ancient home. Blending ages, milk and honey. Folk with brass, the mud men's irony. Oh, the tales of night and day. And magic, steel and clay, got hidden swords Biddles be praised, our gods pass in a wild race It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul Steps on muddy land Rolling 
and war Guide and guides on wings of green Sprite's own magic secret sheen Harbinger of twilight's call Dances through the midnight storm